Ladies and gentlemen, so uh, we're doing another podcast today. We've got a special guest, so we'll introduce uh, Pankash Goyal, but we call him Harry, so we want to say hi. Hey, everyone. <laughs> so um, we, we've been doing some podcasts with Scott talking about training and fitness and you know getting your body really good, but I've met Harry uh, actually through training as well and through a mutual friend, and we thought we'd put some better content out or different type of content for you guys watching at home who might have a vision of becoming financially uh, stable, I could say, or just, mm. you know, getting their stuff together more financially. And I thought, well, we've got someone here who's probably one of the most successful people I've met financially himself. And I asked him to do a podcast. He's like, hey, why not? So we'll get into it. Is that all right with you? Yeah, yeah perfect. So um, Harry, I'll do a quick introduction. <coughs> so Harry uh, owns a few companies. He owns a company called Harkon Construction, so he owns a building company. He builds mm. a lot of projects, so I've been lucky enough to be appointed to sell some of those for him, which is great. He owns another company called Loans Direct, which helps people get finance. So you can go to a bank and get your finance, but he runs a group of brokers who actually work under you and you help people get finance. We'll yep. talk about that. And he's into something called land banking, where he buys uh, larger acreages of land and he will subdivide them and sell them off or buy blocks and sell them for a, for a profit. So it's like <coughs> buying, buying properties but making money on them on probably the largest scale possible that, that I've ever met of someone. Yep. So Harry, um, mm -hmm. and we had a few questions put in too from the viewers because I did an Instagram uh, live story and we had a lot of questions as well. So we've got to wrap this up in about an hour. But Harry, do you want to introduce us to you and tell us a little bit how you got into this stuff and what motivated you to start or just... A little bit about maybe Harkon first, if you like, your construction company. Uh, Harkon, so Harkon goes back, give or take about 10 years. Mm -hmm. So I started um, building a dual lock in Huntington where I used to live at the rear. Um, so a dual lock is two properties on the one block uh, of land? Yeah, so yep, yeah yep. Two, two properties on the one. So I got a permit to build another one at the back, mm -hmm. in, the, in the rear or the front one in Huntingdale. So um, we engaged a builder, um, gave him the money, the the builder did uh, pretty much a runner really yeah so oh, um wow. so i ended up uh finishing the job myself getting all the trades and uh, in the process of it i got my own builder's license and um then we started a six unit uh townhouse project in uh, canterbury on uh, on canterbury road in bayswater um similar sort of thing the builder took about uh, three years what it should have been done uh, probably a one and a half year job wow so I said, okay, this is uh, getting too much money wasted because in development, money is time. Yeah, absolutely. And um, yeah, the, the sooner you develop, the sooner the money rolls for you. Um, so I said, okay, stuff it. Um, I'll just start my own building company. And I did. And um, that was the start of. So that's been a decade now since you've had yeah, that. Yeah, uh, Harkon. And um, yeah, well, so we started uh, doing our own developments. Uh, we s we built a little bit for the clients when we started, but uh, now you just do your own projects, right? Uh, we, we just do our own projects probably Restrous. for the last eight years. Um, yeah, wow. we, we buy our own lands, chop them up, uh, build build chop on it, mm. and uh, and and just sell it. And whatever we can't sell, we just rent it. Understand? Yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool. I actually, so has Harkon been around longer than <coughs> Loans Direct? Or uh, no, Loans Direct has been longer. Finance Company is the first thing that okay. I opened up. Uh, so that's give or take about. Tell us a bit about Loans Direct, if you don't mind. <coughs> so it's a finance brokerage company yeah, yeah. Uh, in its own right uh, we got a full ACL which is Australian credit license with ESIC and uh, yeah so so it's pretty much uh, people who want a middleman to broker the deals that there's home loan or car loan your truck loans um, or your personal loans a little bit or uh, your commercial loans on a bigger ticket items uh, so we started on that uh, for about 20 plus years now and um, yeah so so uh, we got offices uh, pretty much all over Australia apart from Darwin or uh, and and Tassie and um, yeah, so, so we write loans all over Australia. So <coughs> people, a lot of my viewers are young kids. They just love bodybuilding. They follow me yep. for the fitness side. Yep. So explain to people, I've been in real estate 15 years now, so I know a bit, but mm -hmm. there's brokers and then there's people that just go to a, 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 a big bank, like any yep. major lender. Yep. So let's say I want to go get a, a me and the girlfriend want to go get a loan. We go to a bank. They give us a certain amount of money. I've got yeah. a bad credit rating or something like that. Yeah. So <coughs> the reason brokers exist is you can get deals that, say, a bank might not be able to go to or you have all these other options and lenders. Do you want to talk about that a little bit too? Just give some people a bit of yeah. an insight because people might not have bought a property before. Yeah, they want to no. know what to do, yeah, where no. to start. Yeah, no, spot on. Like as, as a normal person might know that there's only 
four, four five, five, five. Maybe if if uh, someone's to do, like there might be ten, twenty banks, but but there's more than hundred, hundred prime banks in in Australia. Like um, give or take. So it's not your ANZ, your Westpac, your National Bank, your uh, Commonwealth Bank. You know, the, the, there's plenty. Um, uh, and then if you walk into a branch, argument say you're self-employed and you don't have financials to show. Mm. Uh, the chances are you can't get any, any money, uh, exactly, let alone yeah. less money. And, and then there's second tier banks, as they call them, which can do your loans on a, which, which call a low documentation loans, which just Boy need docs, a self-certification yeah. documents, whether it's from your accountant or yourself, and the, uh, and the money is yours, as long as you put enough deposit, which is generally about 20%. Or, or if you got a bad mark on your, on your if you, even if you got a $50 credit card default or, or a judgment of $100,000, the chances are that, you, again, a big bank might not be able to help you. It doesn't matter how much deposit you put where there's 50% deposits. And then again, there's private lenders or second tier lenders or third tier lenders might come handy yeah. till, till you do get come, come clean. Or we got our credit um, watchers who can clean up your credit and, 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 and you're back, uh, back with the major banks to, do, uh, to, uh, to get the loans. So yeah, so th there's a variety of factors where we come handy. And if you go to a particular bank, the chances are they, they might only show you their own products. If you go to CBA or Bank West, the sister uh, company, they'll only show you their products and what they can do. They won't tell you what Westpac can do, what ANZ can do, what National Bank can do, what Suncorp can do, or what Bandico can do. It's not in their best interest, right? Yeah, so, so yeah. Uh, but generally a good broker uh, can advise of, you know, what, uh, what circumstances you have and what uh, is the best outcome you might get with some other banks. Um, like if you want to go uh, construct four townhouses, uh, majority of the banks won't do four townhouses construction on residential loans, but there are banks who can. So, mm. uh, but if you go to, yeah, walk into any major bank, they might not tell you. I uh, know a lot of developers, they use NAB a lot for <coughs> development for some yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah, National yeah. Bank is one of them um, uh, for four, but, but, but there's a variety more. So there's, there's another three, four lenders who can do four under residential. And um, yeah, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of uh, choice. And you've been good. I've sent mm. you a fair few clients and you've helped them out when they actually <coughs> had no chance of getting finance through just a, a normal major bank. <coughs> yeah. So you are very good at what you do. You work, you can work some magic, which is great. Yeah, because you know yeah, yeah, information is key. Like, uh, like when we started off, we, we worked long hours. Um, um, so we worked 18 hours a day, every day, for seven days, because cause I, was, I, was, I wasn't married, and I had no kids, I had all the time in the world. <laughs> so it's just, uh, it just a hard work. You keep doing everything, whole day, every day, and, and eventually, you know, you do gain knowledge. So, so that's, that's why the finance. Direct, yeah, yeah, that's so finance. Yeah, so finance, fi yeah, finance is, is all about knowledge. Even though you might walk into a branch and you might meet a banker, even then, they might not give you the best solution because they might be just in the job for a few, for, for, for few months. So mm. the, um, I'm not um, going to badmouth anyone, but, but I do a lot of loans with the bankers in the bank as well. Because they, oh, really? Even there because you go, guys. Yeah. yeah, because even they don't know what, what the best solution mm. they might I guess get. You, and if you're only been working at a bank and you're a lender and you're young, and you, you might not have that experience like someone yeah, like yourself exactly, had yeah. too. Yeah, so That's pretty powerful. Well. You've, you've helped me. I'll touch on that too. This guy's opened my mind up on what I can achieve <coughs> financially even with just what I'm doing now, my real estate and the potential of never home and expanding it and things, yeah. it's changed my life. And that will touch on maybe surrounding yourself with different people as well, because that's huge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can you touch on, and we'll get into the questions in a <coughs> sec, guys, but I wanted a bit more background on what Harry does. Yeah. Do you want to talk about a little bit about the land banking too? That's something that yeah. I thought would, yeah. I'd never meet anyone that does that. Yes, yeah, so the land banking, uh, in a way, is, we call it Inglobo land as well, or a big parcel of land or acreages. Uh, there's different terminologies, but uh, in, in a nutshell, what that means is that um, instead of an infill site, which is means that you get a suburban site or whether it's a thousand square meter block or a one acre block, and you develop that, which is already, you can, it's development ready, you go in the outer suburbs generally, and you buy a land which is in Melbourne, which is, um, <coughs> uh, so the A stages of land uh, uh, with, with the Victorian planning, but, um, um, and, so you, you you get you get your green uh, green veg zones. You get your uh, farming zones, which you can't develop. It ha it, this, they are a grasslands, and they'll always probably be a grasslands or bushes. So they'll never be able to opportunity to be developed. Uh, they might in the future. At but the moment, they can't. You don't know. But but yeah, the, they might be your, your fourth generation might 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 see that happening, N not in your life lifespans. And then um, they get converted to UGZs as we call them, which is called the urban road zones. That means government has approved. They are ready for development. And they might take another one year or another 50 years to uh, to, to come PSP approved, which is and PSP is explain in, uh, explain what PSP is. And so PSP is is the last pretty much the last stage of the approval planning uh, for the land. That means now it's development ready. So PSP just then tells us that arguments say uh, from from a hundred acre block 
um, you can you can um, um, divide 80, 80 acres out of it, and and that's for commercial or industrial or residential zoned. And now you can um, uh, get the planning permit and 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 start the civil works and and start constructing on it. So that's pretty much the last stage. That's when you blew me away when you started telling me about those yeah, things. Yeah. So so suddenly a hundred thousand uh, dollar, if a hundred thousand um, dollar acre land becomes a million dollars or two million dollar uh, acre land because because it's just been rezoned. Most of the lands that I own, they're all PSP approved. Um, I, I don't like to gamble. Mm -hmm. um, so most of them are PSP approved, whether they're industrial, I got commercial, and I got residential in pretty much all, uh, all outer suburbs of Melbourne, whether it's southeast, north, or western corridors. I remember when I met you, because I've been doing you know, real estate for a while, and I met a few developers, and I said, oh, have you ever thought of doing this? And you go, hmm, there's only a million bucks in that. I'm not going to bother. Yep. I'm thinking, OK, wow, this guy's on another level. Yep. But that's through experience, right? And you've just surrounded yourself with some pretty good people too, and you're pretty driven. <coughs> well, that's a bit of a background on <coughs> Harry and what he does, but it's taken him um, some hardships to get where you're at. Yep. And we'll touch on that as well. So we'll answer a few questions, sirs, if you like. So how, this is the first question that came in. Mm. Where or how should I grow my first 100,000 of capital? Mm. Should I do it through property or business? I'm mm. keen to hear your perspective. Yeah, it um, it's a tricky question because it just depends on what you do, whether if you're self-employed or you're salaried. Um, like I was salaried. I, I worked in Telstra when I finished my uh, computer science engineering degree. Um, and I tried to save in the, in the Telstra job. I couldn't. And I think It's hard to save now, right? Yeah. And the chances are unless you on a big buck salary uh, and, and the 40% of the taxman takes 50% out of it, mm. th th there's anything left uh, for you to save up. Um, Self-employed, yes, you might be able to save up if you do work hard, um, and uh, and but if you if you somehow can save up, like uh, the the majority of the people who have who I have seen uh, saving up are are uh, they got early on on the property ladder. If you can save so much to get a, even a small house, even a four hundred thousand dollar house, where the stamp duty is waived up to six hundred in Victoria, um, and um, that house for four hundred appreciates even by six or ten percent in a year's time that's your 40 grand and yeah. that's cgt free there's no tax on it yeah. to start with so that, that's 40 grand is is yours in a year's time so that's so that's so the property. thing yeah in the pra in practicality that's what i've seen yeah and and certainly if you're buying a second or third property out of that your your six percent rise which we have seen melbourne rising in the last hundred years it tickles six percent every year even if it goes down two years and then 30 years yeah, 30 percent it, 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 uh, it, yeah. uh, it uh, always goes up that's th that's one thing I've, I've, I've pretty much seen majority of the people have, uh, have saved up or gained the equity from yeah good point because <coughs> you can you think you got to save 100 grand but <coughs> if you're not living within your means or no, just you're trying to show off you yeah for you to save that you get a fancy car you go you are in, in a fancy restaurants you show off to the girls it just never happens yeah, yeah there yeah. you go guys that's pretty important yeah. okay so i like that so yeah. second question so how do you manage your finances or any tips <coughs> And this is mostly young people that will watch this too. Like yep. A lot of my <coughs> followers are probably 16 to mid 30s. <coughs> yep. My sort of age in the fitness scene. Yep. But how do you manage it? So would you say, mm -hmm. what you touched on there, not trying to show off, live within yep. your means, yep. set a budget, maybe? Yep. Look, I, uh, I was a cab driver. So I was, uh, when I turned 21 in Australia, I, I, I got my cab license for the next eight years. I, I drove you, you cabs. You drove cabs? Yep, 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 black cabs and silver a little bit, but mostly black. Yeah. And um, so I used to do 16, 18 hour shifts. Uh, so right. yeah, used to sleep at the, at the airport ranks, um, um, have, have showers in the Monash uh, when I had my, my, my membership, or, or just, just go back to the union. What do you mean there. showers at the Monash? Uh, the, so the, the Doug Eddy swimming pool in Clayton campus. And so I just used to go oh. swim in the morning, yeah. have a shower there and back in the cab. So never used to go home. <laughs> yeah. so, 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 so just had a spare in the, in the, the back of the cab. Yeah. And, and just yeah, uh, every weekend, uh, just 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 sing with the uh, passengers and just happy drunks and or, or, or just go party with them probably <laughs> but but i just worked hard saved up enough money um went back home which is india to me yeah um go, uh, uh, contributed uh, at least half the money to my sister's wedding uh, back back then uh, which was for fourteen thousand dollars give or take i saved up and then uh, i saved up enough uh, to open the finance company back then it was resi franchise resi pretty much went bust so we opened our own which is which was called super loans back then Wow. So yeah. So 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 if 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 you got the will, you, you can save money doing doing anything. Let let it be cab driving or whether cleaning or. You think Australia is a good place to do that? Yeah. If if yeah if if you if you're hardworking, like in back home in my country, India, I think you need luck and you need hard work. Yeah. 
in Australia, I, I strongly think if you got hard work, luck is limited, you are pretty much guaranteed for success. It's, yeah, as long as you're honest to yourself and, you, and you're hardworking, there's very limited chances that, that you can't gain what, you, what, what you're out there for. And you, and you probably yeah. need to seek the knowledge too. You, you know, go out there and actually seek it. Yeah. Like yeah. I've, I've, what I've learned from you, yeah. I, I'm lucky because you've taught me a lot, right? Yeah. And I've, and I've asked you a lot of questions too. Yeah. But you've been very open to it. Yeah. And you yeah. actually really wanted me to get to another level. Yeah. Like um, uh, just to give you a perspective, like when I came to the country, I used to live with a couple of the cab drivers who used to get, but back then there was a, uh, a stripper joint called Bar 20 up on King Street. They used to get the free passes for the passengers to give. And, but I used to oh. take the passes because they used to give free free lunches back then. There was a, s a small brunch. Uh, I used to study at Armory, go there, and have like uh, things on, 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 on my left and right eye, go have my food, didn't used to watch any girls, and just come back no to Armory. So, so you need to be have that kind of dedication that whatever you want, you just focus on that thing yeah. and not left, right, girls, drugs, this and that. You, yeah. As long as you focus, you... you, you, you yeah, you, it's you, like you, the fitness yeah, stuff yeah. too. Yeah. All right? So, 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 I yeah. think it's very aligned to that. Because yeah. getting the physique... You, you, it consistently be focused yeah. and not be distracted. Yeah, exactly. That's what separates, you yeah. know, Discipline. like this fellow over here, this yeah, great biceps. It. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's actually a really good point. So you 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 did it hard. Yeah. Yeah, sleeping far out. Yeah. In this current economy, mm -hmm. is it best to wait out for a better opportunity, a opportunity to purchase a property? As as I say to most of my clients, there's there's never a good time, because that's what my father told me when I bought my first property in in Huntingdale. Um, never, th there's never a right time to even have kids as well, right? There's never a right time to have yeah, kids. That's yeah. what I heard yeah, Tom Blatt say. And saying that, like uh, in, in Australia, we have pretty robust economy. We are triple rated. Not many countries in the world are triple rated. So, so it's, it's very hard for us, uh, for someone to, to, to take us down or, 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 or going bankrupt like, like Greece or Italy, or like not, 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 not saying the many countries' name or uh, Argentina. But so we've got pretty robust economy. Even if we go down 5 10%, it's not like stock market or crypto that, that might just bank uh, collapse one day. Might go down 10 10 percent but third year or fourth year, it will bounce back another 30%. It will always tickle around 5 6% a year. So this person said, wh when's the best time in this economy? So would the best time be just once you can do it, just do it? I, I'm a strong believer that if, if, you're in the, if you're in the game of buying a property, you should go in and, and, and rent as many auctions as you can go and talk to as many agents as you can because because property is not something that buying a bottle of coke or bottle of milk from 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 supermarket that is a set rate set price you might get a bargain if someone's desperate to sell there might be a mortgage in possession by the by the bank you might save 100 grand there if, if, if they're desperate on the auction day there might be split split up there might be a separation going on go attend as many auctions go talk to as many agents and you, and, and you might get a bargain if there is a bargain but you, you great example you said oh, you, you gave me you said um oh, we'll do a project you told me right and mm -hmm. there was one in it was like was it Werribee we went to? Anyway, you found me a block of land. Yep. And you're like, call this guy today. <coughs> yep. Anyway, I mm. called him the next day. Yep. I went out to see the block of land. I'm mm. like, okay, let's do it. It was really <coughs> cheap. It was like 250 grand. Yeah. And then to build the house on it was another couple. But it was about 80 grand in it, right? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I went down. I'm like, cool, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Mm. First little development. Yep. And you know what? I should have called him the day before because yep. it was an open... Uh, listing and yep. another agent sold it the day before yep. the yep. agent didn't know. Yep. 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 And I wish I acted quicker, but I didn't. Yep. Yep. You know what? And, and I said to you, oh, I don't think I'm ready for this. You're like, no, nah, mm. you'll never be ready for it. Yep. Just, just do it. Yep. And I trusted. We did the numbers. It yep. worked out perfectly. Yep. Worst case scenario, there was like 60 grand in it. Yep. And I was too slow. Yep. And someone else bought it. So we're looking for another one. Yep. But there's never a right time sometimes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 But, but in saying that too, don't go go balls in and buy something, do yeah, a bit exactly. of research. Yeah, yeah, uh, like, yeah. Knowledge, research. knowledge is the king. Lo and knowledge is yeah. king. And, and the same thing goes for infill sites, same goes for the acreages. Mm. You got to have knowledge, you, 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 and, and there's two more, uh, just uh, two, uh, two basics, uh, buy fast and, and, uh, and buy right. As long as you got the knowledge, you got to act, act quickly on it. That's why we, we are successful in getting so many good passes of land, because, because normally the DD or due diligence that the bigger players need, whether it's Stockland or Pete or, or, your, uh, or the bigger mobs in land bankings, they take one month for the DDs. We go there and we, we put an offer unconditional that we're gonna buy, sign the piece of paper for $50 million of land in, in, in 24 hours. Bigger companies can't do that because they, they got the processes and, and procedures in place. Whereas mm -hmm. we, and that's where the knowledge comes in, in key. And when you say we, like I, I got to meet uh, your friends. So yep. I went, he goes, I'll come meet some of the guys. <laughs> yeah. We'll get them fit, remember? Yes. You're like, we'll get them fit. Because yep. these guys, like, they're very financially successful. But the next thing was to get them all fit. You're fit. You yep. train all the time. Yep. But it was, uh, they don't mind if I say that, right? Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. my yeah. pants. They were showing my yeah. legs. It was yes, funny. Yes, 
You don't and get um, there. everyone in that room was in the top percent of net worth uh, in Australia. So you'd yep. be in the top percent, you need to be worth about 30 million. Yep. Not one person in the room was not in the top 1%. Yep. Um, but you've got a little group of mates there that are, yep. that are doing that together. Yep. Do you vibe off each other and have these ideas where you go, let's go balls in? Yeah, yeah, we, we all are pretty much, uh, we all came from the same boat. We all are, are the first generation immigrants. All came from- Did you come from money? No, we, we all yeah. came to uh, to study here. Like I, I came to study here, my computer, yeah. and, and we just chose uh, to call Australia home after that, yeah. and, and and got our PR and and and, and, and just stayed here, and, and we just love. And every time I I c come back from the airport from any country, I, good, I yeah. always touch the ground, put 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 it on uh, put it on my forehead. That, that's I, I just love it. Yeah, it is a good it's, country. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing better to say. Uh, next question. So, mm -hmm. what stunted? Yeah. Or has anything stunted your financial success at all? No, I don't think so. Since since I started, we, we yeah. pretty much grown um, double digits every uh, every year. Even through COVID, uh, 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 working from home or construction was on uh, majority of the time. Uh, we were we were growing because there were so many opportunities to to be grabbed. Everyone says Christmas is the slowest time, and and I say it's not very start. Like we triple our volume in finance brokerages every Christmas. Do you know the highest uh, stats on realestate.com? Because yeah. you know is on Christmas Day. Yeah, people yeah. Are aspirationally looking for real estate. Yeah, yeah. That's the highest number of yeah, people no, looking on. on real estate .com on Christmas Day, statistically. Wow. And, and, and when people think spring is the hottest selling season, if you see the stats, winter, you get the highest uh, per capita prices in real estate. It's not spring. Oh, I just broke a record on Saturday for that <coughs> one in, in Logie Street. Yeah. It was the highest square meter rate for land ever sold in Oakville. I yep. sold on Saturday. Yeah. Yep. That's freezing. Yep. You know, well, not a lot of stock on at the, on the moment. Supply and demand. <coughs> yeah. So touching on that though, what stunted your growth? I reckon, mm -hmm. you know, when you mentioned that first builder took all your money and yeah, the second yeah. builder took three round yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. Th those could have broken a lot of people, but that got yeah. you to set up your own building yeah. company. You yeah. got your builder's license yeah. and you turned lemons into lemonade. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's pretty that. cool. Yeah. I, I gotta do some more stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get my shit together. Yeah. No, that's great. Um, do you have any regrets financially? No. 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 Yeah. No. So, yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah, touching based yeah. on the last no, thing. But yeah, but when you say regrets, like obviously, some people might think success is just a Linear. graph straight up. Success no. is never success is, you know, it's graph going down, going up, going down, going down, and eventually over ten years, or twenty years, or thirty years, you do go up. That's success in 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 reality or practical terms. I'll answer that question too. So for me, I made a lot of mistakes financially too because I was, I partied a lot. Yeah, I did a lot of recreational drugs, yeah. and that threw me off because I lose days. Yeah, I party, and then I have. <coughs> I'd be up and down. I'd do a good <coughs> couple of months at work. Then I go, I'll let myself <coughs> take it easy. Yep. Go party. I'm at one six one to eleven a.m. Yep. It's just anyway. Yep. But mm. I learned from that. I got out of it, and then I got to meet more people like yourself, yep. which is going to get my trajectory faster than it, ever, it would have. So I think I'll, I'll be more successful now mm. in my future than I would have if I didn't have these hiccups. Yeah. Because I. I made a few mistakes and it was good for me to learn that. Yep. Does that make any sense? Yep, yep, no, spot on. Yeah. Um, here's, a, here's a good question. Yeah. How, do you, how do you work less and make more money? Now that's the thing, like many people, obviously I've, I've, I've heard this a lot, uh, yeah. like everyone and, and, uh, and, and many people ask me, I, th I practically, I, th I think this, this just never worked, uh, worked for me. I like, yeah, people say auto run, you know, um, a pilot mode, it just never happened. I think. For me, um, it's pretty much um, the shadow of Meriton Towers, like Meriton uh, Towers, like yeah, the, the yeah. hotels. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Harry, um, the the from one of the biggest developers in uh, in Australia. So you know, he he needs to um, he pretty much finances his his, his projects, um, um, runs them as in builds them uh, with his own pretty much construction companies, manages them. He's probably one of the biggest uh, managed um, landlord in Australia for the apartments as well. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm a control freak like that. Like, you know, I've got to have my own finances sorted. I've got to have my own uh, building, I'm building it. So, so I do that in, in how, if builder takes two years, I want to build it in one year. Um, and if, 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 if it rented, I used to rent my own apartments. Now, I, 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 if I give it to the agent, I still want to have a little bit of control over it. So I'm, I'm a control freak in, in that, like uh, every segment of the business has to earn, earn a dollar for the empire to make, make, make a dollar, according to me. And, and if every segment doesn't make money, you, the net shell, you don't even, like, it has to be fine-tuned to the tooth. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yes, surprised it, you don't have an in-house conveyance. So that's the one thing you don't have. No, we do. We oh, you do? Yeah, oh, is yeah, it? Yeah, oh, okay. well, but one of the girls used to work for us. So oh, I see. Left. Okay, okay. So, cool. so we just also... I figured, yeah, I was thinking, yeah. get everything else sorted. And, and it's not as much money in that as well. There's, there's as like, it was, so that's why yeah, we... Yeah, there's a lot of yeah, money yeah, that like is there. Yeah, it has to be, yeah. Um, <coughs> so working less, so you're pretty much saying you just workaholic. So far, and, and when when you when I will give the control out, then yeah, the, then it has to pull up. But... but this um, uh, work, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll love to party in Abiza and just and just say in, in Bali for, for six months a year, but it just hasn't worked so far for me. <laughs> you can't, you can't, <laughs> I've partied in Abiza. Yes. You don't do that for a short amount of time, yes. the way I was taught it anyway. Yeah. So that's uh, that's interesting. Is it going to be a stage where you kind of just chill out or you just want to, you reckon just keep going until you're No, no, really old. I, I definitely want to um, semi-retire if, if I can in the next uh, few, few years and just, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, next few years, because you could do that now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so, yeah, so bit, uh, do a bit more hiking trips or uh, cycling trips, uh, which we love to do, mm. and and uh, explore new new places, travel travel the world. Yeah, I'm just trying to like think of the viewer here, because this where you're at might be <coughs> seem unattainable for most, mm. uh, and it probably will be like yeah. realistically. Yeah. So um, I'm just trying to think how we can help these people maybe mm. change their mindset of. Yeah how they can just flip the switch a little bit and try and get some financial because i think financial financial uh having good finances is more about for me it's about a bit of freedom yep you know yep. you yep. want to do what you want yep. when you can Definitely. help your family out yep and um, have a bit more of a stress-free life yeah, yeah, yeah that's no, what it comes no, down no, to definitely and maybe yeah. buy a plane or something yeah um so what's the best way to start investing property uh, well, yeah, would you say yourself i think yeah, I, I think property property is one thing that I have seen yeah. most people. I mean, like, I, I don't know much about stock markets. There's, there's two main uh, uh, streams of revenue to be made. One is stock market. One is real estate. Mm. Uh, the the two biggest, obviously, the crypto is there, but I, I, I don't understand that part yeah, too much. Part. But uh, but real estate is one thing that I've surely seen majority of the people on their way up. Yeah. yeah. So try and get into real estate when when you can. Yeah. What about yeah. like I do a lot of. Um, selling for properties over the years for a group of uh, like syndicates yep. let's say a group of four and five or three yep. Yep. And these people just work at Woolies and Coles and things yep. so they're on the you know your average wage but yep. these guys have you know in their mid-30s that they've paid off their properties yep. which is pre pretty good compared to the normal person yep. do you deal with a lot of people that do that type of thing Yep, yeah, yeah I, I see a lot yeah. of um, you group uh, people syndicates. Up? Yep, yeah, whether, whether it's two people or, or twenty people. Yep. together. Yep, um, it does uh, ends up in disputes a lot of time as well. That's what I found so as well. Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, some of them. But but again, as long as you got step uh, step through the door, you got the knowledge. The next thing you can do on your own, or the second, third thing. But the thing is to get knowledge, get uh, get through the door. So even though you do a few mistakes, it's not that you're gonna burn very easily, uh, un unless you go too crazy or too wild in property, because it's, it's it's generally pretty safe. Uh, as long as you stick to the good suburbs. So someone watching this, maybe if you have two friends that you know and you trust, <coughs> yep. and you go, hey guys, mm. maybe we can put some money together, <coughs> yep. maybe buy a little parcel of land, yep. get some plans and permits, do yep. a jewel lock, yep. make two, 300 grand if you can, split that between you, yep. move on to the next one. Yep. That could get you started. Yep. So, because I saw a lot of people do that too. Mm. So have a think about that option and yeah. explore it. Maybe they can contact you, get yeah. the finance sorted. Yeah, or, or just one, or buy one piece of land, whether and it's Wallet or Werribee yeah. or back in a McLeod, um, and, and, and just build one Do house. Do the small house thing you want. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cost 500, you might sell for 550, 600, and, and just make your first 50 grand or even 20 grand, mm. uh, and, and, and just get your step through the door. And, and then the next one, you'll have the, all, all the confidence and the courage in the world to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Get the first one down, break mm. your virginity. Yeah. Um, Okay, so <laughs> how, what should I do? Hmm. This is someone's asking me this. What should I do with my first 50,000 sitting in a bank account as a young man? I'm yep. 25 years old. Yep. Great question. So you say 50 grand, good on him. That's a lot, that's a lot of money. Yep. 25, yep. yeah. Yep, no, that's, that, that's great. I'm well. but so yeah, I'll, 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 I'll find a good block of land for um, a small block of land, 200 square meters, 300 square meters land, whether you might get it for 200 grand or 300 grand put a deposit for that, <coughs> um, uh, whether you want a two month settlement or two year settlement. And um, and yeah, and whenever it does get titles, start, start building on it and, and, and get some money out. It's no point for me to have uh, saved up money in the, in the bank because the fixed deposit don't pay you more than 2%. And, uh, yeah, and, and yeah. I, I personally never have my money roll then less than 20% a year. 
and and even the tax office charges you 10% um, uh, interest a year because they, uh, yeah uh, yeah since making your money sit at 2% a year it's just uh, yeah can you say that mm -hmm. do you know what that is do you yeah, know what that is? No. That's the one from someone from Werribee. Oh, yeah, okay. Did. Oh, Pandava. <laughs> just, yeah, Pandava, yeah. Okay, yeah. So see these guys. <coughs> I'll just give an example. So these are going, I've got the ad copy sorted, so these oh, will good. go online tomorrow or today. Yeah. Um, explain that project there, because this is what we're going to do. So you bought, yep. there's small blocks of land. Yeah, so You've maxed out the site yep. on them. Yep. Can you see that on the screen? <coughs> the little render? Can I send it to you after the whack on, or is that too complicated? Over? Yeah, yep. so have a look at this, but it's yep. so that's a little three bedroom, two bathroom yep. home with the garage at the back. Yeah, so this is, a, this is a typical project. So we've got 10 houses in a row in a, in a street. Uh, from memory, they're about 173 square meter block, a smaller block, and small box, yeah. <coughs> and we got a thing called small housing code on that. So we don't have to go do 60% site coverage, we can actually go up to 80% site coverages. So these are probably 14 squares, single story houses, uh, bottom, uh, bottom end of the range in, 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 uh, in Melbourne. Um, Entry level, <coughs> he's saying for this is yep. what you know first homes for people yep. to buy. So we, uh, so I bought them for two hundred grand a pop each, and uh, probably construction cost is about two hundred as well. Four hundred, we might sell them for five hundred. So with all the costs, I've got them priced five twenty to five fifty. Yep, yep. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So 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 you make you, you make a cool hundred on that, or, or maybe eight, 80 grand each. Yeah. And uh, so that's a, that's a very typical. And project. there's ten there, so there's a million yeah. million yeah. dollars there. Uh, yeah, and I bought another ten uh, on, the, on the next street, uh, which you'll be selling in a few months as well. So that's a very typical project. Um, uh, you don't have to buy, obviously buy 10, you just buy one. Yeah, but you just bought 10 yeah. and you're building it. And then you're yeah. building those yourself too. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. am. Yeah, yeah. But that is something small you can start with. Yep. Yeah, you know and on. you yeah. got me onto that. I was and like, and, oh, and wow. there's low risk because there's always demand for the, for the entry levels. It's not a million dollar house, not, not, not everyone can afford it. Mm. And, um, and yeah, th there's always a demand for it. And, and the budget is super low. It's, it's not, uh, you want to buy a deal lock where you have to spend $2 million or get the bigger loan sizes. The loan, loan sizes, sizes on this one is probably 350. Mm. Yeah, so so normally uh, a normal mom and dad on salary of 70, 80 grand, 90 grand can should be able to service that. Absolutely. Uh, that sort of loans. Yeah. I thought that was pretty pretty good timing. I brought that up because that render just got finished. Yes. That looked good. Yeah. Uh, and that was Mutaza from our studio 528. We'll give him a shout out. He did those renders for you. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, okay, here's a question. Mm -hmm. How do you manage it all and stay fit? Uh, I think for anything that you do, whether it's uh, money or whether it's uh, fitness, uh, discipline is, 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 is number one. That's why I love the, the defense personnel so much. Cause the defense uh, like, in, yeah. in the army and stuff? In the army and because yeah. uh, discipline is, is always there. Like you in bodybuilding, the, the dis <coughs> discipline is there. Mm -hmm. Everything we eat, we eat like a medicine or you eat medicine like, like food later on in the life. So you do, yeah. We, yeah, you do, you, you do one or the other. Like I wake up in the morning, I try to wake up 4.30 in the morning, do small, small time in your meditation head, um, um, have, have the morning routine of, uh, of, of dr drinking hot water and stuff and then heading back to the gym. Uh, come back from the gym, uh, go to the work sites where, where everyone turns up at seven in construction, uh, spend a couple of hours on, on work sites, head back to the office around nine-ish, ten-ish where all the office staff is there. Uh, stay back in the office um, till, till three, four and then, then head back home. Mm. Um, uh, so yeah, so so the discipline is very important. I, even if you go party hard, I, I think even then discipline is hard. You can't go crazy, uh, you know, just um, just not thinking and just yeah, th without discipline. So it comes. So you're just disciplined. So you're managing it through discipline. And you, um, uh, Harry, here's a question for you. So what what's what's driving all this? Because hmm. yeah, it, like someone might say. There's there's enough there, like yep. to to live comfortably now. Yeah. What what's driving you to keep reaching for more? Because the, you know he's at the mm. you're at a pretty good level. Yeah, I, th I think it's the personality thing as well, and and, and what happened in your life that um, that makes you make these uh, choices. Like um, my great grand grandfathers um, uh, used to have uh, well, well, probably one of the richest merchants in India. They used to have a thing called Hundi back then. It's like a um, national credit card. They can go from north to south and and just show our card and, and get money uh, all over India. I'm talking about 100 years back, 150 years back. Oh, wow. We were richer than the kings. We had the first cars in the town where the king used to borrow our cars. Oh, wow. And then my <laughs> gra uh, and my grandfather uh, went, like we got cremated and, 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 and we got to burn the, uh, burn the bodies. Um, um, uh, and, 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 the, and my grandfather, uh, they didn't have enough even money to, to buy the wood for the, for, for, for the cremation, like all the money was gone. Uh, with the far out, uh, yeah, with, so the, with, 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 with everything, and and my father was uh, from from a middle class family, um, pretty much um, got got shafted by his own uh, family members for for majority of the money, 
and um, so so I, I came to the country thinking uh, and, and he spent pretty much all all, all, all the money he has um, by uh, well, for, uh, for paying for my automatic uh, university expenses and my really? travel expenses I had seven grand in the bank when I came I lost it out in gambling because there's no gambling in India I played blackjack when I don't know how to play blackjack because I earned five hundred dollars the first time I said wow this is a great way to earn money Oh, you so won the first time? Yeah, and, and second time, and third time, and, and fourth, fifth time, I lost all oh, the seven grand. Out, yeah. I still remember the, the eyes girls who was uh, the dealer at the $50 blackjack table, and sh- because they can't say, and she was telling me from eyes, Don't stop, stop, that's stop. it, stop, and just go away, man. You're just a small kid from nowhere, and you don't even know how to play. But I won't stop, and I lost all seven grand. I was, <gasps> and I sat on the Yara um, outside the crown, uh, I had a jump in the Yara. Yara is not deep enough to, to drive. You just, you just stood up, and you can't even committed suicide so I was, and I knocked uh, asked a few people uh, the Sri Lankans uh, the cleaners working in Crown Casino to give a job they gave me a job so I was, for the next four years I, I, I dishwashed in Crown in the pot wash and uh, waitering and uh, in um, yeah so yeah so, so the next four years I had 60 pretty much 60 cents or 50 cents in my in the bank account I used to eat um, the, the 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 soft serves or, or the biscuits for 10 cents back then to, to fill my tummy up or sometimes go to this bar 20 for have this buffet meals um, but 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 that's what you do, you know. Okay. Yeah. So you've far out. That's full. <laughs> that's full on. Yeah. You've actually yeah. you've been pretty pretty low places there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. nothing to lose, really. No, because because, because, because well you came from a dollar. Even it doesn't matter how high we reach. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You, you go back to the dirt. Uh, you're not that scared because because you had nothing when uh, when we started off. And if you had nothing, you 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 get sent back to Afghanistan or Africa. You you probably you know build build something there again. Because that's just a confidence thing. It's, 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 it's hard yeah. to go down. Once, once so you've got that confidence because you've, you've been at that level and you go, yeah. you know what? I'll go, uh, does it push you to do bigger deals now? Because some of these um, land banking deals are pretty big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like uh, some of the land. Yeah, the, 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 the total portfolio is, uh, le- the and, and GRE value is, is, is more than a billion dollars now. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, hu- that's, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty up there, bro. Yeah. Um, so that's what drives you. Here's another a great question. So, a young young person's put this in. What ratio of monthly income after tax mm. um, should be saved versus what I spend? Yeah. You sort of said that before. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a big believer. If you earn a dollar, you got to save 50 cents. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you don't have to go out. That's uh, big saving know, in these yeah. days, though. With yeah. You know, everyone's trying to look good. Yes, exactly. I don't and think and mo- a lot of people have more than 10 grand in their bank account. Yeah, and and, and, buy, and buy expensive clothes to uh, to live off for or have ex- expensive watches. Buy never home. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I think buy buy something which appreciates, not depreciates. In, in like whether it's your clothing, whether it's your car, your watches, buy buy something like property or gold which does appreciates over time. Yeah. yeah. And 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 and, th- and the and the younger you start, the more wealthier you will be. So you gotta start young. That ain't, that ain't my, my parents didn't teach me this stuff, you know, because yeah. they, they, my parents are your standard run of the mill, yeah. beautiful, lovely, yeah. greatest parents of all time, religious. Yeah. But um, one dad, one thing my dad did teach me, yeah. and I never listened to him because yeah. I, I was trying to look too cool. Yeah. I was kept leasing sick cars, yeah, you know. Yeah. I wish I didn't do that, yes. but back then I didn't give a fuck. I was yeah, like, yeah. I'm getting it, I had my M3s, all these great cars, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, I didn't own them, yes. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and that was my insecurities trying to look cool because yes. I was in real estate, right? Correct. Yeah. Now I see a lot of these younger guys. Yeah. I, I know. I, I tell them, I go, guys, don't worry about the cars right yes, now. Exactly. And I, you know, unless yeah. you can really put on the business or buy yeah. it, cash, yeah. whatever it is, you're that wealthy, you can just do it. Yeah. Um, maybe just relax on that too. But yeah. the society now is where you, know, you might want to, you might not have a good body, so you might want to look like you're rich to pull a chick. Yes. All the chicks are like, I need to find a guy that's got some cash. I think the you know, yeah. Society's a bit hard now with social media. Yes, it's really really weird. So, exactly. if you can save a little bit, yeah, and really set a plan, yeah. you, you for the long run it's going to be better. Yeah, yeah. And, and and on the other note, like some people think that you're young, you, you should not buy into bigger investments, whether it's property or um, or some sort of other other investments. As long as it's sta- uh, I think as long as it's it's something solid. Um, the, the stability is very overrated. I think you need to be a little bit unstable to be stable. I, uh, uh, and if you start young, it's, it's no wrong or right that you buy and get it onto the property ladder. You think, oh, I'm taking too much risk on early on in my life. When are you gonna take a risk when you're 60? I don't think so. <laughs> you, you, you may as well just start early. If it's solid property in a good suburb, yeah, you gotta be a little bit unstable and you'll be more stable in life. I think you gotta be a little bit cra- crazy to, to, be, to be normal. 100% normal, I think that doesn't exist <laughs> as such. So no, I think so yeah, too. Yeah. 
and yeah, it's going to appreciate eventually anyway, you know, yeah. unless you buy an apartment. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, <laughs> Obviously, it's yeah. a bad story. I had seven apartment. apartments back in 2007 we bought at yeah. the back of Crown Casino, the bank apartments. After five years settled, everyone depreciated 50 grand after, after, after five years, which was in 2012. Far out. I just so saw one for, an, for you. I just saw one for a client yeah. and um, had a beautiful city view. Yeah. Permit went up next door, views getting locked Cheap. out. Yeah. He lost 70 grand over seven years. Yeah, it depreciated. Yeah, yeah. But if you bought a place in Pakenham, where oh, it'd be Clyde, yeah, you would have tripled yeah, his yeah, money, al- at least al- doubled it. He always buy land. The more the land, the land appreciates, building depreciates. Simple yeah, logic. One hundred percent. Yep. So say that one land. more time. Always uh, buy land. Always buy land. Land is the one that appreciates. Yeah. Building, cars, clothing depreciates. So always buy more land, which which will eventually it will appreciate oh, 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 over the year. When I, and whenever I um. I told my, my cousin bought an apartment. I said, Cuzzy, mm. I said, don't buy this. It's not yeah. going to appreciate. I yeah. said, rent where you want to live. Go rent that apartment yeah. in Caulfield yeah. and go buy a block elsewhere yeah. Yeah. and rent that out yeah. and live there. She didn't listen. Yeah. And now that's, well, yeah. she was thinking of selling it. She'd be lucky to get her money back. And she's had that for probably five, six years yeah. now. Yeah. It's called rent vesting. That's what they yeah. call it. Too. And as you know, body corporate, it just kills you. Like yeah, the body corporate's huge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're just paying the maintenance fee for, you know, yeah. Uh, but I don't know why people yeah. don't listen to me. I sell so many people that, but they yeah. just don't like want to And listen. they say the capital growth is too much. You get 10% rental yields, but my, your property is not appreciating in, in the other token. You got to have the rental yield and the capital growth simultaneously uh, to have more than 10%. So, so, so if, if you're getting more rent, that means the, the property is not growing. So it's either or, right? Yeah, mm. you, you can't win both, both, both ways. Yeah. Um, there's a few more questions. I know we've been nearly an mm. hour. Mm. How long has it been? Like 45? 40? Oh, 40. Cool. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so here's a great question. Mm-hmm. This is a very young follower of mine, which yeah. is awesome. So hopefully in 20 years, you can come back and say, thanks, Harry and Johnny, because you guys have put, good, put some good content out. Mm-hmm. So it's 15 years old. Mm-hmm. I'm, so I'm 15 years old and I want to become financially free. Mm-hmm. What business models do you recommend for me? Look, uh, this is a very, very common question. I got asked this question a lot. I'm a firm believer and I'm, Whatever, whatever you're passionate about, whether 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 it's fitness, whether it's whether it's finance, whether it's property, uh, whether uh, whether it's selling computers, whether it's IT, whether it's lighting, stick to, uh, stick, stick to your passion, passion yeah. and and eventually you will earn money in uh, in it. And stick I at think. it, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's not the first few years you you've learned million bucks. No one does, or, or so maybe, no. maybe, maybe 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 some do, but but mostly don't. No. But as long as you stick to your passion, yeah, it's yeah, I, I think that's the right way to do. Yeah, and, and, and start, and I'm also a believer, like, I'm, I'm not a very big believer in franchises, because I think the top dog always makes the most amount of dollar and just gives you whatever's left over, whether it's Subways or 7-Elevens or BPs. I think start something of your own, if you, if you have got the guts to do it, and, yeah, and then there's, there's no upper hand that you gotta give the, the or, 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 or shave your slice with, you know? It's yeah. funny you say that too, because I started my clothing brand, Never Home, yep. about eight or nine, and probably coming on my ninth year now, right? Yeah. And um, it's never made me a lot of money, you know, but I love it. I'm passionate about it. Mm. The past like year and a half, two years, it's really started to do really well Mm. for something I'm just selling out of my spare, my spare room. But I love it. I'm passionate about making the clothes because I I wear it all the time and people resonate with it too. If I didn't love that, there's no way I'm packing orders all night and designing clothes and getting it and making the podcast because I'm really, really passionate about that. So touching on what you said, but I do that. Uh, outside of my real estate because I want to transition eventually mm. might be five years three years out of selling houses to do that full time that's the big the big picture with it but I got a passion but I'm passionate about selling houses too yep, yep. and this is about people actually relationships yep. real estate I, real estate isn't knowing everything about homes it's about yep. building relationships and getting along with people yeah. so that's why you're my client now yeah and, 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 and get along and, yeah. and, and, and I respect you so much like uh, you, you went to sell one of my town houses I think it was unit 12 on the auction day or, or before the auction day and one of the unit holders just came up to you running with, with the aggression that you parked in my spot and started, and started saying the F word as it might cool down, I didn't realize. And he went down, he actually, and the old man, 60 years old, actually pushed you and he still said, okay, you know, the, this, the, I'm, I'm gonna, even though you, you got 100 yeah. times more, more, more muscle mass than, than yeah. the old man, he said, no, it's my fault, I'm sorry, please do not touch me and you, and you repark your car, that's so fucking cool. Yeah. Fighting <laughs> is not cool, aggression is not cool, I think. No, 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 yeah, I played uh, it Having cool. a personality like you is so cool. So cut, yeah. cut, I'll recap on that. So I was selling a, one of his properties. I made a mistake. I, par- I thought I parked in a visitor parking, but I parked in one of the owners of the block's parking spot. 
they came out just you know those people that just have issues with everyone like kind of i hope they see this yeah they cracked it at me yeah they double parked and i said i'm sorry i'll move the car yeah so i was had a buyer showing on the property yeah. they parked their car yeah. in front of mine i couldn't get out i'm like all right well i'll just get an uber yeah. <laughs> so i gotta go out he goes do you want to get your car he starts screaming at me, and i'm like yeah, yeah. i'll get it man yeah. he goes get your effing car you effing real estate agent. like bro it's a mistake relax yeah. like yeah. i made a mistake yeah. <laughs> is anyone dying yeah. he pushed me down the stairs yeah. so I, like at the top of the staircase little yeah. basement found out i caught myself and i go like i wasn't on trend i would have killed this guy yes seriously <laughs> if i was on trend he'd be dead right now <laughs> i said hey all good i moved my car i moved it at the front and i came back bought him some chocolates i'm like i'm really sorry for wrecking your you day. bought him chocolates as well i bought him some chocolates see, yeah that's that's all it's about like it's yeah, yeah aggression and and yeah you, you can win people but it's so much more easier yeah, it's yeah. better to stay it's, cool it's, it's, it's better to stay cool plus i didn't want and i knew if i was nice to, he was so apologetic i'm like, having a rough day because you got a bigger goals to achieve yeah like, that that's not your kettle of fish no, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. you got bigger yeah, yeah. scumbags like that they don't even exist for you yeah, yeah, yeah you i won that much battle. much yeah. much bigger goals in life but i did make the mistake i yeah, you, up to it yeah you fight yeah you, you choose your battles you know yeah you, man you, yeah don't 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 battle the every every battle that you get just yeah yeah good call yeah. that was a funny day i'll tell you what yeah. <laughs> it did shake me up a bit um here's a there's a couple more questions if you don't mind and then I, I want to ask you something about uh, bas basketball too. Yep. Equity loans. Yep. When and what percent? What? When and what percentage mm. to then use to buy another property or investment or another yep. investment? Yep. Uh, technically, if you got enough equity, which we call it twenty percent, to save mortgage insurance, you you don't have to put any cash. Like argument sake, your property is worth a million bucks, mm -hmm. and you owe five hundred thousand dollars with Commonwealth Bank. Eighty percent gives you eight hundred thousand dollars. Minus five hundred, you get three hundred thousand dollars equity released from that. You can go buy another property for six hundred thousand dollars with that with that with that twenty percent. That's how you start rolling. That's how you start rolling. Yeah. And uh, so technically, if you got enough equity in your first property, you don't have you don't need to uh, have any cash to put towards the second one. As long as obviously you need to have servicing or capacity to meet the repayments. Yeah. So so yeah. Man, you can help a lot of people. Yeah, but uh, again, you can do five percent loans. You can do ten percent deposit loans. You don't have to put twenty percent. You can pay mortgage insurance and get 90% loans. Yeah, so pay, and that can be get expensive though sometimes, right? Yeah, the mortgage insurance uh, about 2% on the loan amounts, yeah. give or take. Right? But, but again, if, if, if you're going to gain 10% in capital growth, paying 2% once off. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's definitely yeah. worth yeah. it. Yeah. Now, there's something else you've, you've been doing, which is yeah. cool. And yeah. I th I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this up. So <coughs> tell us about the INBL Basketball League. Oh, the Indian National Basketball League. Yes. Uh, we so started about, um, give or take, uh, four years ago now, uh, back in India. Um, and it, it has been really su a real a real success. We started on the grassroots. We had close to about 850 institutions join us, whether it's schools or colleges or local clubs all over India. The headquarters are pretty much in Bangalore, which is the south of India. Uh, and we got the Pro League approved now, which is about a couple of months ago. Um, the league's valued uh, back home in India, clo uh, north of 100 million. At the moment, we're gonna start selling some teams in a few months. That'll and, increase uh, the value. And, uh, sorry. That'll increase the value. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah probably. Yeah, pro pro probably double up. Hopefully, if, uh, if if all the maths go go goes as per plans, and we're gonna get uh, one of the well, one of the bigger players uh, from America to, uh, to promote it. Yeah, we to to to, to promote it. Uh, so and Michael Jordan. M might be one of them. Yeah, uh, 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 m m might be MJ or or, or Shaq, Shaq or one of one of, the, one of the big names. But yeah, how cool is that? M <laughs> yeah, M uh, M M M MJ seems to be keen. Uh, not 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 for the love of money, but l uh, for the love of the fact of that the uh, that that he can open up the uh, the basketball world uh, uh, to, India. To, uh, to, to India, one of the biggest democracies or population in the, in the world, on the back of China China Basketball League, as as yeah, because so that has been a real success there as well. So you have started mm. an Indian national basketball league yeah yeah with the uh, uh, with a group of my, with a group my, of your mates my mates yeah yeah and your kids love basketball right yeah yeah they both do yeah, yeah they both do uh, that's really uh, you they got a couple two kids yep Nikki, yeah. she's uh she's uh 12 uh, getting into 13 and uh, Freed, uh he's uh, uh he's uh 10 getting into 11 and they both train pretty much every day if not second day and they both love basketball so th so they're really excited about INBL as well and you've built your uh, your dream house at the moment, which I had a look at. Yep. It was a Martin Frederick design, so I'm a big Martin Frederick uh, fan. If you don't yep, know who Martin Frederick is, he's uh, <coughs> a well-known architect in mostly Bayside. He yep. has this specific style of home. I met him through another friend of mine, Ido, 
who did um some designs with him. That's how I got on. I'm like, yeah. wow, these are sick. Yeah. Um, tell us, do you want to touch or talk about that a little bit? It's a nice house. Uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, we've been I've been building it for uh, close to three years now. It's it's it's, it's pretty much all finished. It's a four level house with an indoor pool, uh, with a rooftop and uh, on a corner block, uh, not far away from the ocean yeah, it's uh it's it's, per, it's, yeah. it's 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 a great house it's a dream house but, but again same thing you can you can show some pictures and they can i'll send you some photos yeah, i'll yeah. Fo send you a couple yeah. renders of it too yeah. um which is absolutely incredible um harry that's pretty much most of the questions there's a couple others there but they were very generic questions too mm -hmm. anything you want to wrap up on before we finish it up like any any closing notes you want to uh tell to anyone watching about setting themselves up financially or any just no, I, th I, th I, th I think I think hunger hunger is is, is, is what drives you. Whether whether you you want to excel in your fit uh, your your fitness or you want to excel in financially or whatever whatever your goals are. Your so why? Yeah. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So as yeah. long as you got the hunger and the courage, uh, courage to do it, um, yeah. If, if if you put your mindset to it, my body body is magic. I'm I'm a, I'm a very big believer. In. Yeah. The, the monks uh, in in Himalayas they can have the steam rolling out from from fr fr from the clothing s sitting in uh, minus twenty degree temperatures just by keeping the body warm so mind is so strong uh, it's it's magic if, if you put 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 anything to it it uh, you, you can just do it I'm, I'm yeah the, and the more I do it the, the more I believe in it now like yeah yeah so it's nothing is unachievable if you if you put a mindset to it yeah it, there's, there's no magic pill yeah so yeah. thanks so so just I'll, r I'll wrap it up too uh, Harry's been great he's helped heaps of my clients I, I really thought we could just share some of your journey some some tips on getting into maybe real estate development, self-improvement. He, he trains as well. He's like, uh, he's an absolute freak. And you're pretty, like, so down to earth. Like, he's inconspicuously yeah. walk around the gym. You, yeah. would, you wouldn't know that you've, um, you're just who you are. Mm -hmm. So I want to say thanks for your time. Hopefully, you guys get a bit out of this too. Yeah. If you want more info on Harry, uh, you, oh, maybe I'll tag your Instagram Please, on some yeah. things. He owns Harkon yeah. Projects uh, yeah. and Loans Direct. Yeah. And I thought maybe if anyone's looking to get finance sorted, yeah. They can yeah, come yeah, have a chat to you yeah, or your yeah, team. Of course, uh, yeah, if, if whether you want the finance from me or not, I'll always there to help. I'll always there to ask your questions. So just engage. Just just put your questions. And if if I have uh, uh, if, if I can uh, respond promptly, uh, I will. At least I'll I'll guide you to the right directions of what you should be doing. Yeah, I'm not hungry for business, but um, yeah, it's just. It'd more be nice to help yeah. some other people out too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and thanks a lot, Johnny, for putting no. your time to. No, my pleasure. Work and, 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 and I thought well, it'd be fun, right? Sh showcasing. Yeah. Did you guys enjoy that as well? Something different? Yeah. 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 Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, we'll wrap it up. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. And we might do another one in a couple of months or so, yeah? Oh, this goes okay, well. yeah. Why not? Yeah, let's do it. Would, would love to. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Thanks, guys. All Thanks. the best. Peace.